Don't forget to weigh your chicken. You want four ounces, not over and only a little bit under. You can get this scale on the baby plates in my bio. Have you ever tried Zabayoni? I like to serve mine with macerated strawberries. Simply slice them, then cover with granulated sugar and let them sit until you're ready to serve. For each person, you need one egg yolk and one ounce of sugar. I also like to add a little bit of vanilla. Whisk this together until the sugar has dissolved, then place your bowl over a pan of simmering water. Continue to whisk it over the water until it thickens up, then serve with strawberries. This year for Kyle's 26th birthday, we decided to go to a Brazilian steakhouse. We don't go to Brazilian steakhouses very often because they're kind of pricey, but they're a really fun experience. So if you've never been, you've got to try it. They bring around different meats and grilled vegetables, and they even have grilled pineapple, which is amazing. But the thing that we could not stop thinking of and we couldn't get enough of was this Brazilian limeade and they're bottomless. And I swear to you, we drank like six of them. They were so good. And our waiter kept coming around asking us if we wanted to try different flavor combinations because they can add fruit puree into the drink. So we tried like a mango pineapple one, which was so good. We tried a strawberry limeade, which was amazing. So when we got home, we had to try the recipe out for ourselves and it turned out really, really good, which is a little dangerous because, you know, now we're gonna be making them all the time and you probably will too. So follow for more recipes. Does anyone else have a thing that you learned on TikTok and now you can't imagine going back to doing things the old way? So this breakfast sandwich is like completely mind blowing. Um, I don't think everyone puts into it what I put into it, but basically I put egg and cheddar cheese and then, um, you know, and I shove it in this tortilla, which I had no idea would puff up like this if you stuck it in the toaster. Then I also had beans, cotija cheese, guacamole, sour cream. Oh my God, so good. I don't know about you, but I love these motherfuckers. Crab ragoon, they're like my favorite when I order Chinese food. But they don't put enough goddamn cream cheese or green onion or fucking imitation crab. And it'd be like $8 for an order of six. Like, bitch, I'm gonna eat that by myself. How am I supposed to share? What the fuck? Because, yes, I'm greedy and I don't give a fuck. Anywho, it's very simple as you see. All you need is imitation crab, cream cheese, wontons, and what else I put? Scallions, green onions, whatever you want to call them, okay? I literally paid like $10 for all the ingredients, so make them your goddamn self. Yes, I'm cheap. I don't care. Also, when you make these bitches, put your children to work, okay? That's how they learn. But look how they came out. So pretty and so bomb. But that sauce, you need that sauce. My plate. What do you think of these bubble potato chips? Peel the potatoes and cut them into thick slices. Then bake for 35 minutes until they are all bubbled up. There you have it. It's crunchy and satisfying. I got this mini waffle maker and I'm going to try it out. It's so cute. I'm going to use this keto pancake mix that can be made into waffles as well. Adding in the mix. Water. Olive oil. Mixing. And it's ready. Maple syrup. And done. Dinner doesn't have to be gourmet every night. We like hot dogs. Mm. They're so good. Let me show you how we like them. We usually eat the generic ones. Um, I always get the bun length, but they were out, so they subbed for these. And Ricky likes them a little bit charred, so I'm gonna cook them on the stove in a pan. I cannot find my grill pan anywhere. So um, I'm just gonna use a regular pan. Now I like hot dog chili sauce on my hot dogs. Ricky does not like it. Y'all asked me what it was before you'd never seen it, or some of you hadn't. And it's almost like a chili, but it's not as thick as chili. So all I do is just put it in a bowl and I heat it up. And it, it's not like Cincinnati chili. It doesn't have that cinnamon taste to it. It's just like chili. It's just looser. But I like it on mine. So I'm going to put it in the microwave and heat it up. I'm also going to get some tater tots into the air fryer. Hot dogs, if you aren't eating them charred like this, I don't know why. They're delicious. 
So this is how I like mine. I put ketchup. Do a little bit of relish. Turkey does not like relish, so he does not get that on his hot dogs. Or chili. And then I like to add this hot dog sauce to the top. And then just a little bit of cheddar cheese. Yes, I have chili dogs where he has just regular hot dogs. And then I threw some tater tots on the plate and that is how we like them. Hai guys, aku mau bikin sarapan atau bekal yang estetik Iya, estetik kalian gak salah denger Makanan juga harus tetap estetik tuh Nah ini namanya breakfast bread Kalian tinggal ikutin step-step aku dalam video Bahan-bahannya juga udah aku tulis Tapi kalau kalian mau berkreasi lebih Kayak nambahin bacon bits Kalian mau nambahin jenis keju yang lain pun Terserah Kalau aku sendiri untuk final kejunya aja tuh Sampai aku tata biar kayak Uh, sinar matahari gitu ya kan Kan sunny side tuh jadi kayak telurnya di tengah Terus ada si mozzarella Jadi kayak ngelilingin gitu Tapi sebenarnya kurang sih Jadi kalian boleh banget nambahin keju lagi Tinggal masukin ke air fryer panda oma Nah di sini aku tuh kasih bawahnya parchment paper Biar gampang aja 180 derajat celcius 6-8 menit Tergantung kalian mau kematangan telurnya tuh seberapa Kalau aku sendiri di sini kalian lihat itu ada 8 menit Jadi lebih mateng gitu Enjoy Bye.